JTH is back. And the crowd goes mild. Well, at least I hope that's not the case. Uh, hopefully people are happy to see me again. So, uh, yeah, it's been quite a couple cups of coffee since uh, I've been on my actual channel doing actual reactions to Schmodown. Um, and yeah, last match that I did was right before the collision was uh, Snyder vs. Bibiani. That was three weeks ago, I believe. And uh, yeah, quite a lot of things have happened since then. Uh, some really big news, and uh, unfortunately, sadly, some very, very uh, unfortunate, tragic news has happened. Um, first off, I want to just say that um, my deepest sympathy and condolences uh, to everyone um, that was friends or family uh, or even knew uh, the late, great John Schnepp. Um, really hit me much harder than I thought it would. And uh, even though I never met him personally, um, as many people know by now, I plan on attending the, uh, the Schmodown Live event uh, in September. Um, and yeah, John was one of the very many people that I was looking forward to uh, actually meeting there. And uh, when I heard the news, it was very devastating to say the least. Um, so... It was really hard uh, to come back and do those couple of uh, uh, Schmodown matches at immediate, almost immediately after the news. So um, I uh, I just wasn't ready to do reactions yet. I hope you understand. Um, I was going to do one on for last Friday's match, but um, Take 3 had a spot open. I went ahead and did it. Um, so, yeah, I'm back. We're going to do uh, this match here. It's a uh, Scream Queens versus Only Stupid Answers. Uh, Scream Queens has uh, much more recently had a match um, than oh, since Only Stupid Answers. Only Stupid Answers. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly when they played. I can't remember if it was late last season or really early this season. I know they played the Wildberries, but uh, yeah, it's been quite a while since they played. And um, the timing of this match is a little unusual, especially with the uh, the announcement of the Anarchy Tournament in teams uh, announced. Really interesting to see what's going to come of this. Um, the winner, winning team, might have a pretty bittersweet uh, outcome because it's going to be quite a while before they get to play again. Um, at least I would, at least I think that's how it's going to happen. Um, I know there's going to be a team title match announced at some point. I don't know who that other team is going to be. Um, it seemed very unlikely if it was the winning team of this match. It was maybe Screen Queens, maybe. Very, very, very doubtful, though. Um, but, yeah, this is a, a team match. Screen Queens, only stupid answers. Um, let's get into this reaction now, today, on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Out of time, so say goodbye. What is your... Welcome back. So let's not waste any more time because that intro was a little bit long, um, but obviously I had a bit to say. So uh, let's do this in three, two, and one. Oh, yes. Speak the devil. I think I just talked about this. Jason in his title. Oh, yeah. Speaking of surprises, that was, uh, that was something. And, uh, I've already made my prediction as to who I think Dan's partner will be. I think it's going to be JTE. 
Um, I think I just like that idea of the the complete ultimate good guy that everyone loves and respects, and that you know that guy that everyone just uh, just want to just Hi, we are only stupid just want to tear apart. Oh yeah, that's the old, uh, old format, so yeah, that was late last season. So yeah, it's been a while since they've been on here. Well, they're sprinklings and we're here to kick some ass. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Yeah. I apologize if that was a little too loud, so... Yeah, I remember that match being... a match. I'm not really sure um, who I think is going to win. I actually think uh, this can really go either way. I might lean a little bit towards only stupid answers. Just maybe. But you know, that's just, you know, complete shot in the dark. I really don't have any reasoning behind it. Maybe because of that goofy uh, entrance. I, I don't know. Were they doing the bird or were they doing the... the Angels in the outfield. They doing the angel. I don't know. I always get confused when people do that. They were bird. They doing fly like an eagle. Or they doing angels in the outfield? The team division. The team division is stacked. We we had we have our inner geek the matches, but in the thick of that, right now we've got this team league as we build up for the tournament when it happens, and we've got a team that is one and zero in the Scream Queens. You have Kalen. And Haley, who are, have a victory over, they played over the, the Rowan Gardeners, they won that match. And then you've got only Stupid Answers, who's one and one. They lost their debut against Critically Acclaimed, but they beat the Wildberries. And since the Wildberries lost to them, they won two straight. So only Stupid Answers right now seems to be the team to be looking at here because they, they make goofballs, but they know their stuff. They are goofballs. They they defeated the Wild Bears, right? Yeah. Uh, that's a good start. I I also saw a couple homeless guys beat the Wild Bears out back of 7-Eleven one time no. just in a trivia challenge. They just How dare uh, you? It was it was not pretty. So that's I, only because I, there was I no bad boys. Two questions. They the table. Can they overcome that's the only some reason. of the antics and 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 prove their what what they really are, which is which is movie fans and movie experts. But then you got Scream Queens. I was uh, in attendance for their first victory, and I was impressed with what I saw. I, I'm really look, looking forward to them as a team in the future. Well, I think that that's kind of the opposite with the Scream we know that they know their stuff. I think it's more about getting past the lights and past the fact that, that the that's true. Watching them. They, they definitely had some stage them. fright in that first match, if I remember out. correctly. After that first match, <coughs> now you know the, the last match. There was a lot of. I think they got a very uh, multiple choices and repeat. Very niche category so in their uh, the in their wheel round. I think it was Christopher and Nolan, and, and they uh, crazy match. they so really, the, they the tiptoed around that. They they didn't do terrible, but um. I know they would have liked to have done better. No question. They are just the. They're they're going to probably make the Scream Queens feel at home. Yeah, you're 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 really a smart, insightful commentator. You know. Here's to a good match. But so I think we should just get down to the brass tacks of the match. All right, fine. Let's hear them talk. Here we go. We're feeling pretty good. Look at Sam. Look at those moves. He's ready. He's kicking ass. He's Look at the moves. Look at the power. One and one. They don't know what's coming for them. We are the Scream Queens. We're coming in for our second match after a victory. Yes. And uh, we're coming up against only stupid answers. Out of the two times we've done this, we've won one of them. That's pretty good. Lost one time, but came Cheers. back and won. Cheers. And Scream Queens, well, they only, they only won one time. They've never even lost. They don't even know the pain of that. The embarrassment. That's we the motivation like you kings. need. We're Scream que Kings. No, they're the Queens. We're the we're Kings. The kings. I learned a lot last match. For one, I need to study up on Christopher Nolan. Uh, hey, speak of the devil. Is not the I was right. As knowing Nolan trivia, but we did win, and that yeah, is. Hopefully, that'll be a question on, on the uh, Schmodown trivia. Schmodown when I play. We're going to be tougher than ever. We are here today to uh, show right how then. much we know about movies, TV shows, and everything. Also. Uh, I asked Christian if I could promote my comic, ChaosTheoryComic.com. He has not replied yet. In fact, he's shaking his head furiously behind the camera. But I'm going to take that as a yes. I know that only stupid answers is going to be too late. that's all I really need to know. 
So it seems like nice guys. I'm excited <laughs> to play. Uh, have a little fun. They seem like goofballs. I love goofballs. I'm a big one. So uh, I think it should be a fun match. And uh, they seem like pretty good competitors. I'm excited. Listen, if you thought what happened to the Wild Berries was bad, you just give, wait to see how many times you're going to win after we beat you this time. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Sam, DJ, we know that y'all are good guys and you're in it for fun, but we're in it to win it, so we're walking away 2-0. This seems very much like Scream Queen's first match with Garden Hosers, only I think only Stu Dancers have a little bit more uh, knowledge than the other team. So, this might be a complete carbon copy. Let's just get a good competitive match. Please! I've been hoping for one for quite a while. Wrist rockets, not wrist rockets. Um, I, I, I like what they're doing. They, they tickle. Needless to say, okay, the uh, the so Inner Geekdom tournament has been very hit and miss right, in terms of the uh, the quality right. of right. match. Right. So answers, maybe they this they one will come through. Since they were out of the out of the Inner Geekdom, it seems like that's just been bad luck when it comes to quality of match. I I really just I can't explain what's been going on with the Inner Geekdom tournament right now. It's just really weird, really bizarre. New releases might be good for. Them. All right, well, with that, I'm ready to get going. How about yourself? Uh, I have no choice. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie, movie trivia showdown. Yay! Three rounds to avenge. Wait, Ken's there. I didn't need to say that. With a record of one win, no defeats. Hmm, that's interesting. Kaylin. The undefeated the team is the underdog. Scream Queens. Oh, nice slow and yeah. Nice reaction. Uh, that's a great reference to prove that you and I are old. Uh, yeah, I, I'm chilling music. Love what's going on here. Yeah, it's the Ali Sheedy and the, oh, and the crazy, uh, stupid oh, entrance. Only stupid answers will come up. Daredevil is a TV show. Go to sleep. <laughs> We've earned that. And their opponent. <laughs> With a record of one win, one defeat, from the realm of silliness. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. DJ and Sam. But but they're only, only stupid, stupid answers, not only silly answers. Oh, look at that, the like Terrence and Philip. This should be from the realm of stupidness. Uh, these guys are totally uh, off. They're goofballs. They are. They make the matches fun. Yeah. But they know like the matching That's outfits. It's not like they're like attend a roll the ring birthday party with yeah. these guys. I bet they're a lot of fun. Me too. All right, here we go, guys. Round number one is going to work like this. The competitors are going to get eight questions. They are going to write the questions on their whiteboards. They have 15 seconds to answer the question. Do not forget about your JTE rules. You get to repeat three times during the match, three times, and you have one challenge. So remember those rules, and without any further ado, let's get to the match. Yeah. All right, so Probably a good idea to remind them, considering uh, Only stupid these two ready. teams are still a little bit on the inexperienced then route. Let's get ready to Yay! Yeah, I think... Uh, only stupid, only stupid answers. I think the rules have changed since they last played. So, question number yeah, pretty one, important to remind them. Number one in the category of action slash adventure. See Sam Levine. I said action slash adventure. In Kong Skull Island, who plays the anti-war photojournalist Mason Weaver, who joins the military expedition? Hmm. Did you see that movie? Uh, have you seen that movie? I have. Good thing uh, the Godzilla I, I stuff hit at Comic Con because then they started talking about Kong Skull Island. So I remembered this. Two. It's Brie One. Larson. Pens down, please. Pens down. And Hope I spelled her name right. Probably Brie not. Brie Larson? Correct for one point, DJ. Uh, Brie Larson. Yes. Uh, not sure about spelling. You got it. That's fine. Kaylin. I did not get did it. Did not have it, Sam. Uh, Tom Hilson, but I did draw Loki. Uh, oh, did, uh, yeah. you did a nice, nice picture, but you did not get it. So one, one only. Well, granted, this was before Comic Con, I'm sure. To the next question. For people to All be right, reminded. So the second question comes in the category of comic book movies. Comic book movies. Who directed Logan? Oh. Nick Mundy's favorite movie of all time. Is that not true? No. <sighs> I remember this name was mentioned. It's the only thing he tweets about. That During this time, Quantum I don't know if this was a directed movie. Three. Two, James Mangold. One, DJ. 
blank. I blanked. Didn't have I blanked. Kayla. He directed. He directed. Uh, no, no. Kayla. <laughs> uh, I feel like I messed up his name, but yeah, I did. You didn't uh, have it, okay? Yeah, yeah. And Sam. <laughs> Mr. James Man. That's one. right. Oh, it is right. James Phew. Mangold. That's right. Kayla's the only one who has not missed yet. Okay. So I, I remember that name. Category three. I don't know why. Three, I didn't know if it was for Logan or not. Promise. I remember hearing that name Wait, recently. Shoeless Joe Jackson in Field of Dreams. Oh God. I cry every time they don't get to finish the hot dog at the game. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Five, I don't know this. Four. Let me hit that. Three. It's Kevin Costner. Two. One. Pens down, please. Kalen. Um, I was told when in doubt to go with Jane Fonda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Another Jane Fonda. All right, and Sam. I drew a baseball going real fast. No, you that is what it. it's about. Yeah. H Haley. I know that Kevin Costner's in that movie. No, and I you. also did Kevin Costner. Wow! Oh. <laughs> Everyone misses Ray Liotta is the answer. Swing oh, miss, Christian. Uh, <laughs> at least I wasn't the only one that said Ray Kevin Liotta. Costner. All right, you scumbag. That's the next. Uh, I wasn't right. even sure Christian if he was even in the, the movie. Category of classics, classic motion oh, pictures. Well. In The Wizard of Oz, which of Dorothy's three traveling companions does she meet second? Oh, second. Well, Ooh. let's see. First. The horsemen are in the crowd uh, screaming. Yeah. Only one of Five. them has actually ridden a horse. Though. Four. Riley? Three. I don't go out of my way to see this movie. Two. Tin Man. One. Pens down, please. Sam. Mr. Tin Man? That, Correct. It is Yay! Correct. Tin Man. Yes. DJ. Tin Man. Wow. And Kayla. Tin Man. They all Look got at it. that. Okay. <laughs> wow. So I'm three for four so far. We are all tied up here at four, four. Hot dang. Go to police and a fireman. Five. Too high. Five. Five. Hot dang. Sci-fi. Who stars as the heroic Sarah? in Jim Henson's Labyrinth. You would think for as many questions that they have asked in the last two months about Labyrinth that I probably would have saw the film by now. Yeah, I know. No. Five. So I don't know. Three, two, one. Pens down. Haley. Jennifer Connelly. Correct. Good. DJ. I saw, also said Jennifer Connelly. That's correct. Right. Right. Okay. I did not get it. And Sam. Er, Drew Barrymore. No. Also, oh, look at that. Okay. All right, next one. Question six comes in the category of comedies. Comedies. In Clueless, who plays Ty Frazier, the tragically unhip new girl who Cher decides to befriend? Remember when we were being friends? Yeah, no, I remember. You also remember when Tragically Hip was one of the greatest Canadian rock bands? Uh, Five. No? Four. Okay. I don't know. Clothes was such a big deal when I was growing up. One pens down, DJ. I went with not Alicia Silverstone. <laughs> kind of well, correct, but, but not, not for a not point. Not give it to yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Brittany Murphy. Correct. correct. Oh, yeah. Brittany uh, Murphy. Didn't have it. Well, yep. You seem very clueless for this one. All right. Lou Ann. Brittney Murphy. It's Lou Ann herself. Only stupid answer. Good stuff. Next question. Um, horror slash thriller. God. Gonna give you and I was doing so good to too. How many total films are there in the Saw franchise? Well, at least I'll get it right in the fact that it's a number. I've not seen a one. No, I can't. I don't do the gore stuff. I don't even know why I'm trying to count how many there are, because I don't know how many there are. Is it six? Am I off by about a dozen? Eleven? Incorrect. Sam? Nine. Incorrect. Haley? Eight? Correct. Oh, eight. Okay. All right. Look at eight. That. Wow. That's a lot. Only stupid answer gets one point there. I don't think there is a actual the Saw Eight though. I'm sure there are some in the spin offs new slash group, prequels that I know. That I don't know about. The majority of the film transformed into what kind of animal? Ooh. Ooh. Now, if you could be an animal, what would it be? I am an animal. So. Oh man. <laughs> oh, let me. Uh, yeah. Five. I know you got a five. Four. Yeah. A llama. Three. He's supposed to be dead! Pens down, please. And Sam. Alpaca. I do like that animal, but no. No. Hey, what? Llama? Correct. Correct. DJ. Llama. Correct. And, and I have never seen that movie, so I, I thought an alpaca uh, was a llama. Here we go. As we get to round number two, the wheel round. Oh, well. The wheel will come out. They am am I crazy? I, I thought an alpaca was a llama. That they do Just a different like type of unless llama. Unless on opponent's choice, they can spin again. Each question... Maybe I'll be Googling that after the match. If I remember. Then it goes down to one point. Both teams have all their JT rules. Both teams have all 
of their four out of eight. Left. Remember, you can't it's about my usual. From your Maybe three, usually. This but round. Uh, right, I'll take it. Now, because the screen queens are in the well, lead, ladies, would you better like sweet. I started three out of four. Would like I would have liked second? at least five, but, you know. Knowing my game, I will not complain that much. I'm not one of those top-notch players. Seven out of eight. Shit. No, I won't go that far. Never will go that far. Gotta make that a shirt. And it's gonna land on Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. All right. Is that a new one? They're gonna do it. Sticking with Definitely have not seen it on there. They like it though. Questions in the realm of Ms. Kidman. Nothing but Batman Forever questions. Nicole Kidman won her only Oscar for her performance in which. I'm betting it's not Batman Forever. Five, four. Three hours. Correct, Correct two, two points. points. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. There you go. Only stupid uh, answers like, right. wow. In 2016's Lion, Saru becomes separated from his family after falling asleep. Where? On a train. Two wow. points. Two points. <laughs> All right. Question number three. <coughs> Nicole Kidman stars in what 2005 remake of a classic television show? Bewitched. Two points. Oh. All right, two more. All right. <laughs> Pressure's on. All right, here's the next question. The next question here, number four. Who directed the 2009 movie musical Nine? Guessing it's not Nicole Kidman who directed it. That would be too easy. Five. Four. Wait, Three. musical? Is it a, when, when's that going to show up in the musical Jane, category? C, Bos Lerman, D, Bill Condon. A. Five. Four. D? D is incorrect. It was still, gentlemen, one point. Rob Marshall. One point. Yay! Right. And I don't even know who that is. All right, here is question number five. Nicole Kidman appears as Dr. Chase Meridian in what DC film? Batman Forever? Two points. That's correct. <laughs> it's like, is it's it too easy? Yeah. Sometimes you get some easy ones, but you might jinx yourself. In Moulin Rouge, the building where Christian and Satine sing their iconic love medley is shaped like what animal? An elephant. Two points. Wow. wow. What a round there. Great. That is a round. It blew one by that. Choice there on Nicole Kidman. And did, that still didn't hurt too much because it only went down to multiple choice and it was a one right. point steal. Well All played. Right. You guys are up. The only stupid answers team, it's your time to spin. So give it a good spin. Big, there you go. There's the spin. All right. Now they need a good now round the here in. because Christian. the screen queens Haley having a hell of a, a game so far. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, and, oh. And, and they're uh, landing on new, new releases. releases. Do, you want, do you want to keep doing it? They're going with new releases. They, they must see a lot of new movies. Six questions. Uh, I have not, six questions I've sadly not done that a lot this in year. In what? I saw a lot of movies in theaters movie last year. Wind haven't, River take place. haven't been able to do that this, this year. Wyoming? That is two points for only uh, stupid answer. Wyoming's not a state. Who and you watch Garfield and Friends? Wyoming is Indian for no state here. Look it up. It's back. Gerard Butler? That's correct. Two oh. more points. Look at that. Keep him back. Fighting back. Fighting back. Who directed Molly's Game? Aaron Sorkin? That's correct. Wow. Two more points. Fighting. They're fighting. Two more points. They're fighting. In The Greatest Showman, who plays the young socialite Philip Carlyle that PT brings on as a business partner? Multiple choice, please. All right. A. A. I didn't see it. Joseph Gordon Levitt. B. Zach Efron. D. Dan Stevens. Uh, C. Dan Stevens. D. Nicholas Holt. Would be Zach Efron. That's correct for points. All right. All right. We've got your fifth question coming in out of six. What was the full title for the final Maze Runner film? Oh, Death Cure. Is that right? Multiple choice, please. A. Maze Runner: The Final Lap. 
B. Maze Runner, the death race. C. Maze Runner, the death cure. D. Maze yeah, Runner, not. the end game. Uh, the death cure. That's correct. So, yeah. Okay, there you go. Right? Final. Yeah, I actually knew one. Final one. Final question in this category. In the commuter, who plays the mysterious woman who gives Liam Neeson the job and propels his oh, life the, into Oh, the woman chaos. looks like Kristen Wiig, who I thought the entire movie was Kristen Wiig. <laughs> and I don't remember her name. Five, four, three. multiple choices? I swear. Sure can. A, Elizabeth Banks. B, Laura Dern. C, Vera Farmiga. D, Ruby Rose. Vera Farmiga. Yeah. That is correct. Point. One point. Remember, I had a weird... She had a very unusual name. I swear... I swear to... The entire time I watched that movie in theaters, I was like... That's... That's Kristen Wiig, isn't it? Looks like Kristen Wiig. Sounds like Kristen Wiig. It's Kristen Wiig. And then I was like... It's not Kristen Wiig. When I saw the credits, I was like... Wow. <laughs> they will choose on their team who takes the two, who takes the three, and then they can confer on the five. Both teams. I'm actually a little surprised that's still considered a new release. That's uh, that came out in like January. So that, that's it's kind of that's like right on the cusp of what I think is a new release, but two, three, three, five, two, three, and five. Look at that. And then only stupid answers. Twelve. Twelve. Sixteen. No stupid numbers. 20. Yeah. Very seductive. I like it. All right, here we go. We'll Very seductive. Another word for stupid. stupid. Category 12 for their first one there. 10. And that's going to be new, new releases. releases. Hot day. Releases. Put police in a fireman. Hot day. You're going to take it. All right, here we go. Sam's going to take it. Sam's going to take it. Who plays Elio in the 2017 indie hit Call Me By Your Name? I'm surprised that he took the question because it seemed, looked like a. Uh, I might get the pronunciation a little iffy, I but forgot the, what the other guy's name is. DJ, DJ, Bartley, DJ Woodland Rich. Can't, can't, uh, can't, can't give you Timothy Shallant, but it's Timothy Chalamet. Mm. Yeah, close. I think the other guy should know because he seemed to know a lot more of the answers in that second round. Now there are three points. That didn't come back to bite him. And that's uh, question number 16. All right. Qu question number 16 is the category of action. Just, just take a lead. Adventure. Let's let's have no TKO finish in this one. I'll take it. Well, you have. Oh, cool. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You're welcome. Hey, what can I say except you're welcome? What first class cast member plays one of Immortan Joe's wives, Toast the Knowing, in Mad Max Fury Road? I had that song stuck in my head all weekend. Zoe Kravitz. That's correct. Three three points. Points. Yay! No TKO finish. The streak is over. Which is category number two. That is going to be Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock movies. Who's taking the two pointer? Pretty successful actress. You're gonna take it. All right. Okay. Either way, whether you get it right, well, if you get it right, was killed by Angelina Jolie on Celebrity Deathmatch. Here we go. But who played? The other astronaut, Matt Kowalski, in Gravity. George Clooney. Two points. Two points. Okay, now we bounce to only stupid answers here. Who has to? They can confer on this, but they need to hit it because if they hit it, then it goes back to the screen. If they queen. get it, they'll take they a four-point lead. I'm amazed at how many of those 20. those meaningless three-point questions we've been getting lately. The category of Julia Roberts. Julia All Roberts. Oh, Julia Roberts. Five she points. was. What was the first film for which Julia Roberts was nominated for an Academy Award? They beat the Osmonds on Celebrity Deathmatch. <laughs> Julia oh. and a. Uh... And you. Oh, speak of the devil. Didn't even get to finish. Steel Magnolias. <laughs> that was a good match, though. Because they told Julia Roberts sinks only stupid answers, and the Scream Queens find themselves now two and zero in the league. What a what a performance there by the Scream Queens. They have taken a victory over the only stupid answers, and I have. That was a quick match, too. Right that match flew by. Absolutely, that would be an interesting match here, but I'm curious. No, no, no repeats were needed. No challenges. It's amazing how quick a match can go when nobody.
nobody needs to use any of those. Find himself higher up in the rankings as the tournament gets closer and closer. But man, uh, that was that was something you see. The tournament. You have to, you have to um, really look at what Haley did there too. I want to see at the end of this match. I wonder if this match was recorded before the announcement of that anarchy stuff because uh, the first round yeah, and none and of that's going to happen. Answering the two pointer in the third. All right, guys. So let's hear from Jen Sturger, who is with the Scream Queens and Only Stupid Answers. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here with the Scream Queens. Ladies, congratulations on a well-fought match. Thank you very much. Now you are 2-0. and oh. you got to be feeling pretty good starting to find your rhythm now. Uh, that round felt a lot better. Felt like a little, little bit of redemption. Even if we won last time, I don't think we played quite up to our standards. And uh, this round felt better for me. How about you? Definitely felt better, and definitely glad that we got the Nicole Kidman, which my girl is very strong in. I was so impressed by you in round two, Haley. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people, they shy away from those, you know, single actors or actor categories just because it can get so in-depth and such deep cuts, and you guys just proved to be an absolute... Well, like I said, I don't think uh, Nicole so Kidman had ever been spun before, so... What's next? Who do you A want lot next? of them were pretty straightforward questions. Um... You know, I said before, I think the, the wild berries are a hoot. I love both of those guys. Uh, so you want to win is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a good time and win. Yeah, don't we all? <laughs> I know, like I want to play the Shire Wolves because I love Clark, but I also don't want to be defeated. We don't want to have our asses kicked, but if it's going to be anybody, Clark and Rachel are a good pick. I love the strategy behind this, ladies. Well, we're so excited to see what you do here next, and congratulations again. Thank you. Only stupid they want to play the wild berries? Yes, Great. See you in six months. No, no. We had a few. Only stupid pronunciations today. Mm. It's fine. You got close. <laughs> it was really close. Close don't win it, though. Try it again. Try it so again. close, Try yet see. so what? <laughs> As I've always been told. <laughs> got us in it again. <laughs> you got something Manhole in your throat. Directed Logan. Also directed Walk the Line, all right? Mm -hmm. I do know these things. Mm-mm. But you guys had a really great round two. You know, you guys were actually in knockout territory just because Scream Queens had done so well in their round two. They did two really, and really ahead. well. Yeah. And we're ahead of you after round one. And you guys actually had a very valiant round two. Mm -hmm. You had to be feeling pretty good going into that third round. Yeah, we did. We sm we talked a lot of smack also before, so I think it stings a little bit more Sometimes that we didn't. <laughs> that we kind of biffed it at the end. Sometimes you weep on the outside and the inside. You know. That's mean? why we're wearing sunglasses. Hey man. Oh, they're hiding the tears. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Well, Listen though, we all can be winners if you go to chaostheorycomic.com and support my crazy comic that includes zombies and dinosaurs fighting each other. <laughs> You doing a endorsements it's a, it's a, it's There's an ad. So what do you what do you guys want next? Uh, do we want to? Hey, let's do them again. Yeah, let's see if we can do wild berries. Just fight the wild berries. Wild berries. <laughs> They're the new Kingsmen. And it felt good. Snappy suits. They always bring alcohol. I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> let's go home and cry. I'm down. All right, so uh, no surprise. Only stupid answer said they'll play the Kingsman. They'll play box office breakdown. They'll play the Wild Berries. They don't care. They want to keep playing. They had some fun. And, and it, you look at what they did in that second round, and they should be playing more. They, they, it was an incredible turn. They looked like they were going to get knocked out. They come back and just miss it because of that Julia Roberts question. So there you go. I always say this. Don't get lured in by the fun atmosphere they bring because that's a plus. We want that here. But also they bring knowledge. Sometimes questions and categories just fall where you don't want them to fall. But I, I think they have a lot of skills. Yeah. They've surprised, which I don't think they should anymore. People should yeah. take them more seriously. Well, look like what the Scream Queens are talking about too. They talked about the the match in general, and then you know Jen obviously given some. You got you got to look at that performance by Haley. Who you look at what Haley did in the pre for all, mm -hmm. um, and then you knew that she could do something like she did today. I don't. I think she missed one or two questions in that first round. Um, so then you you hear that what they're they, they just want to play. They want to keep playing. Doesn't matter who who it is. They said they could. You know they'd like to play uh, th with respect to the Shire Wolves or mm -hmm. or whoever else is out there. They want to play them. So they're here. The Scream Queens are here to play. I absolutely second what you're saying there. Uh, a great future ahead for both these teams with Scream Queens 2-0 and off and running higher in the rankings. All right, guys. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank all of our patrons for making this league possible. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to run this thing. So keep on going over to patreon.com slash down. Look at the always updated tiers and things that we offer over there, the behind the scenes footage, the Q and A's with the competitors. Very uh, cool Edward thing. Um, Brianne has now actually let us know really uh, in advance uh, for 
And you guys As you know, you know, I'm the, uh, the, the, the wheel slice Patreon supplier. We've now actually got a list of everybody who's uh, taking part in it now, what match we're representing. They won't, uh, they didn't, uh, she didn't say what uh, wedges they would be using. Obviously, if you know what one you picked, uh, you, then you'll know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I actually think that was kind of cool. Um, she revealed who are the, uh, the wheel slice people. Oh, and, uh, shh, boop. Don't missed it because I'm telling a story. Um, who are the the wheel slice representatives? Who are the wheel sponsors? And also the people that get the uh, the round one questions uh, asked. Uh, it's just a complete um, document of everybody. So um, yeah, really like that. That's really cool. So now it's it's great to know. Uh, everybody who's a part of all those different tiers. Obviously, they're the round one question um, people, excuse me. Um, we already know who they are because they get, you know, plugged. But, um, obviously, a lot of us wheel slice people, we don't get plugged because um, once in a blue moon, our wedges actually get picked. So it's cool to actually see all the people that are actually uh, a part of that now. Like it's unfortunate. We, of, of the three groups that are listed in that document, us wheel slice people, we're the only poor fools that don't get a plug no matter what. The wheel sponsor people do and the round one question people do. We're the ones that, yay, we get the wheel slice and you'll get a plug if they hit it. One in 12 chance. Good luck. It's like a freaking um, wheel at the carnival. Sam Levine. Oh yeah. Speaking of a uh, big news that was released, and thank you, Frankie Stats Janish. So yeah, that was also some big news to hit that uh, I didn't even uh, bring up. That was very surprising. Um, a lot of people hinted that it might happen, but yeah, um, that was uh, for me it was out of nowhere, especially considering it was right off the mints of uh, the uh, hints of Collider. A collision so that was um, very surprising and um, has now led to the uh, the impromptu new team title match that's going to happen between um, a winner of a match that was released on Patreon between Shire Wolves and, Will, and uh, World's Finest um, which I have not seen yet obviously because it's um, going to be released on Friday, I believe, so I'm going to wait until then uh, to do it. It's actually kind of funny, um, <laughs> when they showed the, uh, the snapshot of that, and it showed Eric Zipper, uh, in the Superman shirt, I kind of jokingly said, the question that goes through my mind is, does Eric Zipper wear any other shirt, or own any other shirt? And he actually responded, you know, kind of snarky, I don't think he, uh, I don't think he knew that I was, you know, joking. Obviously, you know, you can't tell by text if you're joking or not. He's like, I actually own three different kinds of Superman shirts. Thank you very much. Um, which um, going to be interesting to see. Um, so, uh, yeah, that match, um, Shire Wolves World's Finest. Obviously, I think you know who I'm pulling for, being the um, big, diehard, one of very many fans of Shire Wolves. So, hopefully, they come out on top. Um at first, I thought it was actually a championship match. Then um, we were informed that no, it was not. It was a a number one, number one contenders match. Although technically, it was already a number one contenders match. Um, so yeah, they kept that. Um, so whoever wins that goes um, to the potential title match that I believe will be sometime next month. We were also told that a another team uh, will be announced. It, from what I understood, it's not going to be a team that is part of the Anarchy Tournament. It's a team that will be put together um, before that match. Now, I don't know how that's going to work, because whatever team um, is that team that will play whoever wins between Charwells and World's Finest, um, what if they get broke up during the uh, 
anarchy tournament. Like I some I, this this is where the the anarchy tournament I think is weird for me because obviously they're going to announce the teams of Friday. We've not been told who this other team is going to be, so I, I don't know how they're gonna are, are they gonna announce it like on like Wednesday, like this Wednesday or this Thursday before the anarchy because if they say what team it is and then that team gets split up in the Anarchy Tournament, like that becomes kind of a uh, moot point. Um, so hopefully we'll find out soon. Knowing my luck, it's probably already been released somewhere as I'm recording this, and I'm not aware of it yet. So um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, it's, speaking of the Anarchy Tournament, um, I have not been able to give my, my full opinion of the tournament. Obviously, it was announced at Collision, which I reacted to on Take 3's channel. I uh, was not able to give my own personal opinion. I like it. I cannot get myself to love it, though. Um, obviously, because it's just going to take so long. A match like this has been kind of, you know, relegated as kind of moot for a very, very long time. Uh, Screen Queens, it's like, yay, you get a win, and you're 2-0. and Great, now you might get broke up. Um, so that's kind of the uh, the unfortunate thing about something like this. Also, I have no idea what they're going to do in terms of the records. Are they going to keep the records? I don't see really why they would, even though it, it's kind of all over the place. This is why I'm, I'm confused with, by this. Um, are they going to keep official records of these uh, new Anarchy teams? Because then there's a chance that a player um, will be ranked in the top ten with both uh, teams, their official team and their Anarchy team. This is where I'm kind of confused on this. I, I Hopefully they don't keep uh, the records for the Anarchy Tournament. Hopefully it's just whoever wins um, gets the title shot. That's another thing that I'm not big on was just the uh, the mandatory stipulation that the winner gets a, t a mandatory title shot at Spectacular. Me personally, I would have added something to that to like add to the suspense. Um, kind of gives you a chance to like branch off in different storylines because um, then you can play off how fans are reacting uh, to certain teams, how you know fans are you know accepting or not accepting certain teams. What I would have done is I would have gave the potential winning team the option of they can, if they win the tournament, they could either A, stay together as a team and go to the Spectacular and play whoever the team champions are, or uh, they could have the option to once they win, choose to split up, and then those two teams that are represented by those two particular players would then play each other in a number one contender so-called match, and then then only one of those players is awarded uh, the title shot. So they basically they break up. They both get an opportunity to go back to their original teams and get a title shot for their original teams, and then they play, and whoever wins, it's like all or nothing. Only one of them gets rewarded for the title shot. Um, I would have liked that they had added that option, because I think that could add um, the drama of, okay, if this team wins, uh, what is this team going to do? Or if this team wins, what are they going to do? Um, like To me, that could have added more suspense. That could have added more drama to particular teams, because then it would, you know, encourage uh, fans to maybe root for one team over another team because it would be like, oh, if this team wins, you know, it might be crazy for them to go for the titles, but I think they would do it. Or if this team wins, they're going to hate each other the entire time. I can't wait for them to implode and split up and go back to the regular teams. Like, I, I would have liked that because that would have kept us guessing as the entire tournament played out. And, you know, it just would have added some more drama and suspense, as I said. You know, just you know, keeping the doors open. You know, just branch off in as, as many different storylines as you can. I think it's always fun to always keep your options open. Uh, by just saying that the winning team goes straight to Spectacular as, and get a title shot, to me that's kind of just a, a, a linear storyline. Like you're just going to get one team that just goes and, and makes themselves. Um, and then everybody else is basically done for. Um, so, yeah, I would have liked that they have just added that. If they had done just that, I probably would like it a lot more. But, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't hate the idea, obviously. I do think a, a quite a bit can come from this. Um, it's just the mandatory title shot. Like, whoever wins is going to Spectacular. That's really the only thing that I have a slight uh, quibble with. Is quibble even a word, or is it quarrel? Who cares? It's me. You know I'm dumb, so yeah. That, that being said, um, the match, because I've rambled for about six, seven minutes about you know stuff, stuff not even pertaining to the match, this match was actually very, very good. Um, a, uh, a far cry from a bunch of the Inner Geekdom uh, tournament matches that we've been having, which, as I said, just really bizarre. I don't understand um, what's been going on with the Inner Geekdom tournament. Just the, the competitive imbalance has just been uh, dumbfounding right now. Hopefully, round three can salvage what has been a very up and down and all over the place tournament. I'm really looking forward to seeing those two particular matches. But um, yeah, hats off to Scream Queens. That's a very much anticipated and much needed win. Um, but again, because of this tournament, we have no idea what's going to come of this now. They're now 2-0 and and could be split up. So, And even if they're not split up, it's going to be quite a little while before they get to play again. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how this all plays out. But with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Showdown. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Movie Trivia Showdown. Uh, follow me on Twitter at WWEJTH1. Uh, you can also follow the official Movie Trivia Showdown Twitter page at The Showdown. Join the official Movie Trivia Showdown uh, Facebook page where me and a bunch of the other reactors and pretty much a whole ton of people uh, are a part of that page. And also, um, going back to the unfortunate news of the late John Schnepp, um, if you can, please donate to the GoFundMe page uh, that was started up um, by um, Holly, um, his, uh, his fiance. Um, a whole ton of money has been raised. Um, it is absolutely uh, amazing, uh, all the donations and contributions that has been made uh, on behalf of their family. However, um, more can be donated. There is so much more that we can do, and it is very important that I think we help uh, them out in this time of uh, dire need. So if you can, please donate to their GoFundMe page, GoFundMe dash Get Well John Schnepp fundraiser. Um, anything uh, can help uh, for them at this time. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Showdown. I will see you on Friday. Until then, thank you for watching, and I bid you adieu-adieu.